game day here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Zombies fans are really fired up, mostly due to the flamethrowers the SWAT team has used against them in the parking lot. Nothing like the smell of smoking ribs at the tailgate party. Hey, Grim, I stopped by this voodoo head fool, some shrunken head guy had set up out there. Two heads is for ten bucks. Put one on my wife's divorce attorney and the other on the kid at the coffee shop for not leaving enough room for my cream. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Malice Hellboys take on the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. There was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And the offense retains. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. And it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. <laughs> Second and three. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the ref runs out of bounds and manages to survive somehow. Yeah, at least for another 40 seconds. <laughs> Second down, and we've got a and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And there aren't many. 
many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big game. That's a pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Oh, oh, and pickles. Gotta have pickles. Third down and five. He picks up a two. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can... Nice catch, and it turns on the afterburner. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two, hot And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot Bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Check the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. And the is breaking back. Look at the pass. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down and long. He had it for a second there. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. First and ten. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay and it's first and ten hot one hot two and a hard run there picks up the first down And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And there's 
There's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. First and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. It's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. Not and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot one, hot two. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. 
snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Second down and six. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Briggs. And he runs it in for the touchdown. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Scrim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha! That gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, I got and we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And that'll be second and eight to go. for a first down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. But I had the quarterback threaten to... The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. First and eight to go. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll be second down and four. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts.
In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Boom! Second and field. That's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip tease show. Where we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Ghost. Ghost. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll bring up second and one. First, nicely done. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Third down and, well, good luck. Nicely done for a first down. First and four. Whoa, and he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we
we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and seven. And he just used his beast boot. It's two yard run before he stopped. Third down and five. Run for five yards. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for a... Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. got crushed <laughs> second down and two he is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom first down and it's first and ten First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Sonic Blast dirty trick. 
Anakin throws a supersonic missile to Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be th Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. They're back up here on first. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's mad stupid time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, man, he really wants it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll be second down and four. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive and it's first and ten talking about butterfingers he should have had that one the offense wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it yeah she called it rabbits holy crap he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old Nut Crunch. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick in the kick. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second and eight to go. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Third down and three. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and two. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home.
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Eh, yeah, big deal. Missed a meat for Braves Red when the ball didn't fall down. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. It's the fourth quarter and we're at the two minute warning. Two minutes to go what? Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. And he breaks away. Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering. And then it's over much too soon. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. He is automatic! Nice kick! Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. First and ten. And he 
was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good... And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense has like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? It's the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. And it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. you got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. you got to make that catch. Third down and eight. And he just wrestles. Look at this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? It's just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. The zombies go home losers today. And I'm going to Berlin Street and drowning myself in booze for betting on these folks. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid-raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.